we're looking at Iran, where the protests have escalated following Masa Amini's memorial. Blasts could be heard as security forces reportedly open fire on protesters. To bring us up to date with the very latest, uh, we're joined now by Mariam Namazi, who is an Iranian-born writer and campaigner. Mariam, good afternoon to you. Hello, thanks for having me. Um, there were these protests which were uh, there to mark 40 days since the death of Masa Amini in police custody. And it seems that the police actually opened fire with live rounds. Yes, uh, they, they have opened fire with live rounds and they have been doing that uh, actually uh, throughout the various protests that have taken place. It's been 41 days now since Masa Amini was killed uh, for a few strands of hair by the guidance patrol or so-called morality police. Protests have been ongoing. Uh, they've been, uh, of course, they've, they've been heartbreaking given the numbers of young people who've been killed, but also they've been extremely inspiring uh, seeing the courage and bravery of young women and men on the streets of uh, Iran, across Iran. Uh, it's actually, uh, you know, something we've been calling a woman's revolution. The slogans are women, life, freedom. We don't want an Islamic regime. We don't want an anti-woman regime. And of course, when we saw the sea of people going to Masa Amini's grave in Saqqa's Iranian Kurdistan, it was just a sight uh, that was so splendid to, to see, especially given the fact that the Iranian government tried to block the roads, not to let people pass, but they couldn't stop the sea of people coming to pay respects to her. In fact, her mother had written a statement saying, Oh, Masa, I wish you were here to see how your name is on the lips of everyone across the world. And, you know, uh, on her graveside, they had said that she's, you know, going to be remembered. She's Her name is going to be a symbol. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing. And despite these efforts to stop the protests by the Iranian authorities, um, we're hearing reports that a number of people were killed during the uh, live firing at the demonstrations, which continued in defiance of the security forces orders for them to uh, end their demonstrations. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any end to these protests. If mm. anything, they are spreading further. Where do you think this is leading? Is it going to be a direct challenge to the Iranian regime? I, I think these we're not seeing an end to these uh, protests. Today, for example, is the 40th a day that Nika Shah Karami, another young 16-year-old, was killed by the Iranian regime. So these are going to continue, the protests are going to continue. I think we're watching a generation now, Generation Z, that has grown up with portable digital um, technology from a very young age. They all have digital footprints, we know who they are, we know what their dreams and hopes are. Their dreams and hopes is not to live in an Islamic state and under Islamic rules. The Islamic regime came to power by imposing compulsory veiling. It was its first act. And when women went on the streets saying neither veil nor a smack or punch, which is what the slogan of the Islamists was, at the time, they, they suppressed those protests. They've been suppressing protests throughout the past 40 years. But now we've reached a generation that has no illusions towards any aspect of the Iranian regime, no, no illusions to any aspect of the Islamic uh, various factions, and very clearly is saying we want woman life freedom, we don't want an Islamic state. So I think okay. this is a very hopeful moment for people in Iran, but also across the world. And it is the beginning of the end of an Islamic regime in Iran. Mariam Namazi, uh, Iranian-born writer and campaigner, good to speak to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.